What's up, YouTube? We are Saturday, June 10th. I'm on my way to shop for my first order, $11, no, $15 for three miles. Let's go. in here today. <clears throat> Not sure what's going on, but um, I'm almost done. I'm just getting toilet paper, then I need some produce. Uh, the ice cream is out of stock, and I'm not sure she's gonna answer the phone, so I might just refund. She chose replacements though for things, but the replacement that she chose was not in stock either. So we'll see. All right, we are done shopping. Ice cream was out, did not answer. So she got a refund. It's the house to so leave at my door. Let's go deliver. I really forgot to mention that um, the first order that I did for Nick ended up being 15 bucks. It didn't. It didn't go up. I'm used to him. Um, he's a like he's like a five dollar tip kind of guy, and never tips more, but never tips less either. So you take it as you want. It might be a good thing or a bad thing if it's a big order or a small order. It's better if it's a small order, flat tips. But when it's a big order, it's not that good. But anyway, this customer is eight minutes away. Let's go. little residential streets you know um, the pack of cans fell on the floor but it's all good you know whatever it's a pack of cans it's not like it's eggs you know if it had been eggs I would have been like frit. but it's not it's the pack of cans the cans are not damaged uh, it is currently what time is it it's 4 18 it was long before I began receiving orders and even then I received the first one and then I waited a good hour and 15 minutes before receiving this one so hopefully the store is a bit hectic right now with a lot of people in there so hopefully people order more and we get great orders just accepted an $18 order on uber again going three ish miles um, where it's going it's not gonna be easy to stop there because it's right after a super narrow street light and he has a bunch of heavy stuff he has three packs of nine pounds of ice cubes two packs of eight bottles of perrier one pack of cans and then it's limes uh pain reliever organic cucumbers that's fine but um the pack of cans the pack of water and the pack who is doing can you hear it someone's receiving an uber eats order anyway uh other than that the order is pretty easy so hopefully they will let me use their driveway that's all i'm hoping for um or maybe i can park on the side of the sidewalk we'll see let's go shopping all right shopping's done Everything was in stock. 
And actually the address is like, it's not the one I thought, it's like the street next to it. So we should be fine. It's like a dead end and it's a meet at door. It should be a pretty good order. Let's go deliver. Is done. So it was in a dead end. Actually, I'm trying to make a turn. It's kind of narrow, but we will be okay. One second. I've never been to that street before. It's pretty nice. Um, so he came to the gate and I helped him bring everything inside. This pays 10 bucks. I accepted it for 18, so there might be a hidden tip. Also, I wanted to say, uh, yesterday or two days ago, I had a complete nevrotic dude comment on my videos. I blocked him, but I will put all of the comments that he left on my videos because I think he did not understand that Uber hides the tips over eight bucks. And he did not understand when I said, you know, the $39 order, it was 18 or 19, but it will be more. I guess he did not get it. And he got so mad. He was like, you're so stupid. You don't know how to do basic math. And I was like, I, I'm, I'm confused at what you're not understanding here. You're obviously not a driver. But why are you watching this video if you're not interested in the content? And then obviously he said that he was not a driver because he was not a loser, obviously, which obviously leaving comments like that prove that you are one, but let's not dwell on that. So I blocked him, but I was, I'm baffled at the number of people who don't understand something and then blame it on you. It's like, okay, I cannot stand those people. Not this dude, this guy in the car. He saw I was engaged. There was no space for two cars, but no, he's a big bad boy. He has to go in front of everybody. I don't give a f I will crash into your car if I have to. I do not give a f I will crash into your car, sir. <laughs> like, let's see, you wanna play, we're gonna play. We will see who will win, you know? Anyway, this dude, completely unhinged. Uh, that's funny because on videos from male creators, we don't see those kind of people, right? That's weird, isn't it? A lot of people think that they have a free pass to be a bitch just because I'm a woman. And let me tell you something, it doesn't work this way in my world, okay? If you want to be a be prepared to meet your match because I can be one too. Just accepted a $14 order on Uber. We're actually so dry today. I don't think I've received two orders. I've been here. I've been here since 1 p.m. and it's 5:35. So I don't know. So $14, 0 0.2 miles. How many items? 11 or 10 items. Chicken patties, tortillas, crackers. There is a pack of cans. Carrots, apples, cheese, feta cheese, popcorn, and spinach. We should be fine. And she lives just right over there. She's she's across the street from the store. So that's pretty good. Hopefully everything is in stock. Let's go shopping. Let me show you guys. Intelligence. To its finest. I can't even get in my car. <laughs> I can't get in my car.
open up the door. All right, drop off is done. So as you could see, some dumbass parked so close to me, I couldn't even get inside my car. That's the first time ever that ever happened to me. Um, I literally saw the dude park. I was talking to my friend and he, what the f Come on. Like I had to go through the passenger's door. Are you that dance? Like some of you need to stop driving. I don't give a Y'all need to stop being behind the wheel because you are dangerous. You think that this is okay to park like that? What if, I mean, I'm not fat, but what if it's like an overweight person? Can't even go in the car. What the f guys? I left a note on his uh, on his windshield. I, I left a note. I said, learn, learn how to park. I never do this because I don't believe in like passive aggressive, whatever people don't learn. But this got me really mad. Like, what the f What the actual f You look at your car and you're like, yeah, I'm just gonna stay parked this way because I'm a f bitch. Because basically that's what you are. Anyway. Base pay six dollars. I tipped it for fourteen. I'm expecting an eight dollar tip. I'm not expecting it to go up. I had to replace the polo seltzer. They only had the packs of eight. She wanted two packs of twelves. I gave her two packs of eight. She said okay. Did I receive a tip or not? Yes. So the eighteen dollars ended up being eighteen dollars. No surprises there. How much was the tip? Eight dollars and twelve cents. Okay. Um, and this one took me 26 minutes for the simple fact that I couldn't get in my car for a good five minutes And uh, yeah, it is 6 3 p.m. I can see the store from there. That's how close she is from the store and Hopefully we don't get any more dumbasses to park too close to me and it's not like my car is big Like you know, it's a mini Cooper. It's not a f Hummer. So you guys need to stop Y'all need to stop. Okay? Go park somewhere else. And it's not like the parking lot is, is full. It's empty. Go park in a place where there is nobody. Are you dumb? I'm sorry, it's yes. All right, so I am delivering a $17 order. And obviously there is no parking in front of the building. So I had to park so far away. And now I have to literally walk half a freaking mile to get to her freaking building and of course she has heavy shit otherwise it's not you know otherwise where's the fun so yeah i am currently walking and so usually what i do when that happens i park where there is a fire hydrant, I don't care. And obviously there was a dude who parked two seconds before me, there. So, we are very happy about that. This is so heavy. This is so heavy. Look at this. I swear.
Alright, drop off is done. We discovered that bags containing urine are being dropped into the trash chutes and have opened up when they landed in the bin. And they paid two thousand dollars to live here. To have people dump bags of piss in the fucking bin. Ugh. Base pay is nine dollars. This order irritated me. I'm not gonna lie. Um, her shit was so heavy. I had to park literally half a mile away. I could have. I could have walked from the store, it would have taken me less time. Um, so, question for you. If you're a customer of those apps, and you know there is no parking in front of your building, because there is never parking in front of this building, ever, on any of those buildings in that street, there's never parking. If you know that, do you expect the driver to still go up in the floors or do you meet them at the door because when i was living in hollywood i knew there was no parking in front of my building and 95 percent of the time i would meet the drivers down there in my building now i never order delivery but the one time a year i do i know there is parking right in front of my of my building so it's not a problem. So would you order and expect the driver to park wherever, if needed, half a mile away? And then deliver to you. I don't mind if there is parking. I don't care going into these floors. I don't give a shit. It's not my problem. It's not a problem for me. But when you know there's not going to be any parking, and you still expect the person to park wherever? I don't think that's correct. They're having a party here. Probably. For graduation, I guess. I don't know. And there is a weird looking dude, so we're gonna leave. I have accepted a $17 order, but it's 29 items, 43 units. And... I accepted it because it's probably gonna take me closer to 1100, uh, 1100, 200 bucks. And I haven't been doing anything for like 30 minutes, so I was like, eh, whatever. Might as well just do something. Um, I was not receiving anything, so I was like, I would rather be doing something. So hopefully everything is in stock. It's an apartment building though, but um, you know, it is what it is. I'm gonna try to shop for this order in 10 minutes, 15 minutes or less, let's say. I don't wanna be spending too much time on this one. All right, I only have the produce left and that's the order and like three quarters done. We are done shopping. Um, it took me, so that's the thing. I recorded the video at 7.43 and I, I finished shopping at eight, but in the meantime, a customer stopped me to ask me which pasta sauce was good. So I actually lost maybe a good five minutes because she was trying to see which one for her baby and I have an app that I use. I was showing her. So I would like to I would like to take five minutes out of that time. So I would say that it took me between 10 and 15 minutes to shop for that order. And then it took me six minutes to go to checkout. I went to self-checkout. I don't know, I didn't want to talk to nobody. Um, I was like, eh, I just don't want to. Now I'm about to go deliver. I'm not expecting a really high tip on that order, which is a shame because she has a bunch of stuff. It's like, it's more than $100 worth of groceries. I think you can tip more than five bucks. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a $5 tip, but we'll see. $17, you know, it cannot be a $10 tip, first of all. Um, so we'll see, but I'm on my way to deliver now. I just have, there's gonna be parking in front of the building, maybe 99% chances that there will be, hopefully. It's a gigantic building though, so I don't know. We'll 
we'll see. Let's go deliver. All right, that's an empty unit. We're searching for 117. This building is cheap. Not that it's cheap to live here. It's full of cheap people. <laughs> All of the people I've delivered here in that building are cheap. <laughs> they, they tip really well. 117. from the $17 order that I did earlier. The order ended up $33. She tipped me 24 bucks, I think. So, okay. I, the order was irritating. At least she tipped me well. Um, this order, like I was expecting, it's gonna be a $5, ca uh, $5 tip. Base pays 12 bucks. I don't know. It's a young girl. She opened the door. She, I don't understand those people. She sent me a message when I was walking to the, the door to the building. And she says, you can leave it at the door. Okay. I arrive there. I begin to leave everything at the door. And she opens the door. <laughs> like, why? Why do you... I don't care, but why do you tell me to leave it at the door if you're going to open the door? Like, I don't freaking get it. I'm so tired. Can you tell? I'm so tired. <laughs> Anyways, um... No. It's, um... It's about... It's about to be 8.30 in 10 minutes. I'm gonna go back to the store. I want to be buying some stuff for my dinner and probably go home. That's such good news. This $33 order, this was really needed because first of all, the order was terrible. It was just shit. The delivery was shit. The, the order in itself was okay, but oh, I'm so happy that she tipped me well. But I don't know because uh, which was the base pay? Nine bucks? I don't remember. That's so frustrating, Uber doing this. Because if it's $33, it's not that I'm going to throw the freaking items if it's like a, a lower tip. But at least you know that you're gonna get tipped well. You know what I mean? I don't know. Come on, Uber. If you're looking at this, if you're watching this video, why are you doing this? Stop hiding the tips. Like, stop taking stop treating your your drivers like that it's it's inappropriate it's unprofessional you know anyways i'm expecting a five dollar tip for this one uh base 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 pays 12 bucks i accepted it for 17 12 13 14 15 16 17 five dollar tip uh, i don't care i'm not gonna say anything anymore I saw the order, I saw the number of items, and I knew it was going to be a $5 tip. I already, I told you on the way here, uh, so I already knew I'm not mad because it's still 17 bucks for me, and, you know, I'm going to be above 100 bucks. so, you know, can't complain. It is 8, uh, what time is it? I'm so tired. It's 8.24 p.m. I need to take my car to the freaking mechanic. I can't stand hearing this noise anymore. Oh, goodness. It's been a while. It had been a while since I had been tired like that. But um, as you can tell, I'm getting pimples all over here. I don't understand what's going on. Exactly where I have a new pimple growing here. Are you kidding me? I have one here one growing here and I had one here last week. I didn't change my glasses, it's the exact same thing. Anyway. Can you tell?
hotel. I'm really tired. <sighs> okay, well, it is 8.52. I finished my own shopping and I didn't get any orders, so I'm going home. I bought some fish, it stinks in there. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I went to buy some stuff to make dinner and I'm probably gonna begin to cook for my lunches as well because I'm just too, I'm just starving and I end up buying some bullshit at the store and it, it cannot continue this way. So I have everything to take my lunch with me, so I guess that's what I'm gonna do now. Uh, tonight I'm gonna make... Uh, what's the fish that I bought? Cod with green beans and some uh, white rice and with chives, dill, and I want to make tabouleh. So I bought some couscous and I'm gonna make, I'm gonna be putting, I'm gonna leave the couscous to cook in lemon juice the entire night. And I will make it tomorrow. In the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you in the next video.